some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. You're under arrest? I see the warrant. Got a warrant? Yeah, Why are you recording me? Who are you? Well, I'm, I'm recording to try to see if I can help you out. Just make sure you're okay. It's not up to him. Okay. It is my right. Okay. And I said you so if you don't like it, transport him here real quickly, out of here, and get him medical help. Well, hello, and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves out in Portland, Oregon, with the Siberian Tiger, as he, uh, well, attempts to annoy every cop he can in sight, and it happens acro uh, across a... Uh, group of officers who are in the process of uh, taking somebody in on an arrest warrant who really doesn't feel like being filmed by the annoying little frauditor and, uh, well, protests on a few occasions. Not only that, but he also demands names and badge numbers and everything like that and, uh, well, doesn't exactly get what he wants out of the situation. And boy, does he want to complain about it. And be sure to stick around for the second half of the video as I show a classic sovereign citizen arrest from my archives. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. You alright, buddy? Say what? Cigarette? I don't smoke, man. Why are you in handcuffs? Spoiler alert, you douchebag frauditor. Uh, this guy has a warrant out for his arrest, and, uh, well, as we shall soon see, this particular suspect really doesn't want to be filmed for your pathetic little YouTube channel. But you know what? The way you talk later on indicates what you're all about anyway. Rights for me, not for thee, that kind of thing. And besides, he did ask you not to put his uh, image up there. And, uh, well, if he finds out what your channel is and... Uh, makes a privacy complaint, he cer can certainly uh, affect your channel, so yeah, you might want to be careful, you dumbass. Huh? They didn't tell you what you're arrested for? What? They didn't tell you what you're arrested for? Or detained? I ran across the street and I have an So they, they arrested you for uh, jaywalking, is that what you're saying? What's he arrested for? Is he under arrest? This is a warrant. Got a warrant? Why are you recording me? Who are you? Well, I'm, I'm recording to try to see if I can help you out. Just make sure you're okay. Well, can you find a shooter for me, please? I but really also, it's a record. Can you please do that for me, please? Yeah, help I don't know. Me out? Please, the record, please. They're bad for you anyway, man. Oh, I yeah, I, I know you probably yeah. do, but uh, yeah. they're pretty bad for you. Is he, is he about to be transported or? Maybe he looks like he needs medical help actually. Dude, are you a qualified medical professional? Because, well, uh, the guy is obviously standing up, walking around uh, a little bit. Uh, he doesn't seem to be any pain. He's not screaming at the top of his lungs in pain. Uh... In fact, the only thing he's uh, distressed about at this time appears to be the presence of your camera because he probably knows that uh, you're doing ju this just for internet clout and he doesn't want his uh, picture to end up on YouTube, which is why you should really blur it out. But uh, I know other people will have to do it for you, just like I had to do it. Just sit back down, please. Sit back down. Sit back down. Buddy, take it easy. What? Take it easy. You're going to get too thirsty if you... If... Well, it's not up to him. Well, yeah. Yeah, so I don't know what you're up to. So I'm, I'm seeing him in distress. Dude, are you a qualified medical professional? Because, well, uh, the guy is obviously standing up, walking around uh, a little bit. Uh, he doesn't seem to be any pain. He's not screaming at the top of his lungs in pain. Uh, in fact, the only thing he's uh, distressed about at this time appears to be the presence of your camera because he probably knows that uh, you're doing ju this just for 
internet clout and he doesn't want his uh, picture to end up on YouTube, which is why you should really blur it out. But uh, I know other people will have to do it for you, just like I had to do it. So I think I he probably needs more uh, medical attention than, than to be transported. I don't know. You were pretty calm until you got here, so. Fuck! Yeah. Hell no. Fuck. I, I observe his same behavior. So you can observe, I'm totally fine, you're totally allowed to record and stuff, but I'm just gonna ask you if you go to the end of that tree right there, just to give us some space, all right? I give, I give it about 10 feet, so you need. I want you to go to the end of the side of that tree. It doesn't matter what you want. I, I'm gonna give you 10 feet. Okay, I appreciate it. That's it. 10 feet is, is more than enough. You need medical help? Do you need medical help? I have that right, man. Please stop talking. How am I interfering? How am I interfering? Name and badge number. How am I interfering using my voice? How? Because you're just making the situation making it worse. How am I interfering? Because he says this won't be recorded. It's not up to him. Okay. It is my right. Okay, and I said you could so if you don't like it, transport him here real quickly, out of here, and get him medical help. I said you could. Oh yeah, there we go. The rights for me and not for the uh, come out. I mean, you have you say you have the right to film whoever you want to, but uh, he doesn't have the right to uh, privacy in this particular situation. And these cops are there trying to make sure that his uh, right to privacy is being protected at this point because they know what you're all about. You're all you're gonna post this all over YouTube, try to make a profit off of it. But I'm sure, like I said, if somebody knows who this guy is, they can definitely hit him up and let him know what channel this is. And uh, well, I'm sure this video will come down. Right, and now you're accusing me of interfering. You're interfering. How? 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 Exactly. Exactly. Every single time a citizen gets a camera, cops get all tied up. No, it's not the average citizen that's doing it. It's the average moron who thinks that just because they have a camera means they're the big boss man of that area and they should obey the man with the camera and nobody else. I mean, that's how you guys operate. I mean, isn't it uh, frauditing 101? Uh, the man with the camera is always right. The man with the camera can do no wrong. The man with the camera must be obeyed at all times. I mean, isn't that the way it goes? Otherwise, the people without the cameras will be punished because they dare defy the man with the camera. Good for you! You should be! Just make sure the record doesn't disappear! Always a citizen has to stand up for his rights instead of cops actually respecting citizens' rights. Wait a second, dude. Wait a second here. Wait one bloody second. You're complaining about uh, cops not respecting anybody else's rights when you are standing here with the camera, practically shoving it in everybody's face, and one guy here who is trying to exercise his right to privacy to not be filmed in a situation like this by some moron out on the streets is being disrespected by the guy who's complaining about everybody else disrespecting his rights. Oh my goodness, don't you see the irony in that? I think he needs medical help, is what he needs. Cool, are you a medical what? professional? <laughs> I'm telling you he needs medical help, are so call a medical help. I don't need to be. Okay. I got two eyes and I can hear and I can observe a, a man in distress. They're not they're not helping you, right? No, they're not. No, he actually wants to press charges on you. Oh uh, yeah, for what? I don't know. I was gonna say you, I have that right. That's right, because he's in distress. Can you not tell? Can you not tell that he's in distress? Uh dude, uh, as somebody who's been in uh the fire fire department and 
given first responder training and uh, seen quite a few medical situations out in the field. This guy doesn't really appear to be having any medical issues whatsoever right now. In fact, the only distress that I can see is coming from you. The fact that you're in the area, the fact that uh, he can't control the situation with you, the fact that he doesn't want to be filmed is causing him stress. And that is the whole problem here, which is an extension of the problem that you have is that you have no empathy toward anybody whatsoever. It's, like I said, rights for me and not for thee, which basically uh, represents your self-centered attitude, which is basically at the heart of lack of empathy. So basically, uh, you are a frauder who has no ability to understand the feelings of others. In fact, they don't exist to you. And uh, that's a shame. Can you not observe with your own two eyes that man needs medical help? Probably mental help? And you're all standing hovering over him? Call him an ambulance. That's what he needs. Call him an ambulance. Because he needs to go to the hospital. Sir, request medical help. Request medical attention. Tell him. Tell these officers to call an ambulance for you. That's what you need to do. Tell these officers, I need medical attention. You want to tell me it takes more than 10 minutes to get a to get a vehicle out here when one just drove by just about five minutes ago? Now since I'm doing this on record, I want everybody's ID. Name and ID, sir. You. Starting with you. No, verbalize it to me. Yeah, you do. Verbalize it to me. Badge and name number. How about you, Portland Police? Who's the arresting officer? Who's the arresting officer? Is it Portland cop or you state cops? Who's the arresting officer? You got two different jurisdictions. Whose name is on that ticket? Hey, youngster, did you sign that citation? Who signed the citation? 
Nobody wants to talk now, huh? Who signed the citation? Whose jurisdiction is he on? Nothing to do with you. Whose jurisdiction is he on? Portland police or state police? What do you mean? What do I mean? I asked you a question. Who signed the citation? We both did. Both who? There's Portland two and signers. OSP. There's Portland and OSP on both. Good. That's what I need to know. Who who actually signed it? You we or both. you or who? Who's the name? One of them is me. One of you? Yeah. Identify yourself. Officer Matthew 60812. And who is the second one? You have to find him. I don't know. I'm not going to speak for him. Oh, you don't know? You don't know who signed your own citation? I can speak for myself. You dumbass. You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Oh, poor little Siberian tiger. Are you going to go file a complaint now? Oh, I'm sure you will, because you only got one name and badge number, and all the other officers completely ignored you as if, well, you are just nothing to them. Nothing but, well, uh, a clout-chasing frauditor on uh, YouTube that is pretty much meaningless at, at this point. And they know what you are. They know that you're a man with no job because most frauditors have no jobs. They know you're a man with a criminal record because I'm sure some of them were at your house when they arrested you the last time. Oh, yeah, and I'm sure that since that guy didn't want to be on your video, I'm sure there's somebody that can identify the uh, person on the video and let them know how to file a privacy complaint against your video. And I'm sure that'll be coming down the pipeline uh, fairly soon if anybody in Portland knows who this guy is. Now, as I promised you guys in the beginning, we're going to have a uh, more soft heart who ends up having to get a visit from Safe Light Repair, Safe Light Replace. So let's go ahead and enjoy that little video. Yes. Am I obligated to do that? Excuse me. Is that a law, sir? Am I obligated to do that? Why can't you do that? I'm not obligated by your laws. What's that? I'm not obligated by your laws. You, you see my status on my license plate? I'm a natural born indigenous person to this land. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> Okay, Mr. Naturally Born Indigenous Person, you are still in the United States and you still have to follow the laws of the country. You're nothing special, you're just another lunatic out there who thinks he knows all the laws. But you're about to find out that you don't know Jack. What's that? I'm a natural born indigenous person to this land. Okay, I'm not an artificial person. Down. I'm not obligated to do so, sir. I need to see your driver's license and registration. I'm not required to uh, give you a driver's license, but I do I do have some information for you, though, sir. That's my identification. And, and you are being audio recorded and video recorded for quality purposes. Well, now, that's a new one on me. I've never heard of a quality purposes traffic stop. When was that invented? What happens if you're not fully satisfied uh, with your traffic stop? Do you get a, uh, a consolation prize of some sort? Is it a new window for your car? Because you're going to be needing that fairly soon. This is what they do. They must not know the law. I thought they did. But they must not. Well, they're going to learn today. <laughs> oh, they're going to learn today. Yeah, you better serve, buddy. See if you know the law. He didn't like, he didn't like that I declared my status already. And then, then I served his ass with the delegation of authority. I don't think you even know what delegation of authority is, considering that the only reference I could find to it so far was pretty much a manager's ability to delegate tasks for a division of labor purposes within a group or a community. So I'm thinking that you're one of these idiots that just finds something that sounds cool but never bothers to look up anything on the topic. Uno. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Hi. Yes, sir. You have date of birth there, sir? I'm not obligated to answer any of your questions, sir. I don't consent to you taking any private numbers off my vehicle, sir. That's unlawful. You know that, right? Citation needed, please. That's against your oath of office. Oh, you don't care? Excuse me, what's your name, sir? Your badge number? It's Officer Bartles, 3299. I'll say it loud so you can hear me. I, oh, I heard you. I got it on the record. What's your name, I'll sir? One more time what your date of birth is. I'm not obligated to answer any so of your not questions. you going to answer my questions? Yeah, um, where's your delegation of authority signed okay, by Congress? Then I need you to step out of the vehicle. I'm not obligated to step hurt. out of the vehicle. You are... What law? What law have I broken? What's that? What law you're have I broken? my investigation. No, you're... Ah, yes, the delegation of authority signed by Congress. You know, I think you got that confused with something else. So, citation needed right there. I'm going to need it because clearly you are a... Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass! Such a dumbass! You're an ass! Hindering my right to travel. Okay, you need to step out of the vehicle. I, I don't, I'm not obligated to step out the vehicle. Step it's, out of the vehicle. I'm not obligated to step out of the vehicle, sir. If you're gonna use force, then let it be known for the record. Okay, let it be known. I ask you for your date of birth. I'm not okay, obligated I to give you, you out of here. You have no. Then you know what? Well, th okay. You're violating your oath of office. You took oath of office. You took oath of office, right? I'm not. Would you? Then where's your delegation your of authority of signed by Congress? You Boy, you could tell this guy went all the way down the rabbit hole after he drank the lead paint, and he definitely kissed his brain goodbye, because that soft, tarred Kool-Aid is a hell of a drink. Thus, there is no way he can come back from this stupidity without significant surgery to his damaged brain. Me your date of I have a right to demand a delegation of authority. Have right you have no rights. You're a public those servant. Plates are not on there, and they're not supposed to be I'll, on there. What are you talking about? Okay. It's legal. It's legal for me to have private plates on a private vehicle. Produce some documentation oh. that you have regular tags on. I asked you for that before. I'm not. I'm not you obligated to have. Period. I'm not obligated to have okay, state tags, sir. You're 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 Give acting real disrespectful. Tags. You're acting out of law. Give me your tags. Out of so the, I know that you got you're acting, in the state of Pennsylvania. I, I don't. Ha I'm not obligated to have my private personal vehicle contracted with any corporation of yours. Okay, that's fine. Well, then you go to jail here when when I give you citations and you need to fail not to okay. listen to them. You know, okay. Supreme Court you is the rule of the land. The you want. Oh yeah, you're right. They just been served legal documents. They're ignoring them. That paperwork that you probably printed off of a sovereign citizen website isn't worth the paper it's written on. In fact, it's just going to get you into more trouble, and I'm sure a judge will take one look at it and laugh you out of the courtroom. I didn't give you guys consent to search my private vehicle. It's on the record. You don't have the right to touch my private vehicle. They have failed to show their delegation of authority signed by Congress. You don't have consent to search my vehicle. I'm not searching your vehicle. Oh, well, you're looking in it. That's searching. I'm, I'm looking in your vehicle. Well, the legal definition of that is searching. You have a law degree, sir? Yes. No, I don't have a law degree, but I practice, I practice law. <laughs> you serious? Yes. It's, it's real... So if you Good to know. This law, you know what I'm doing is not illegal. Oh, it is illegal. I just gave you no consent to search my vehicle. You're looking in my vehicle. Yeah, you're absolutely right. I am looking. Yeah, at your that's you're breaking. You're breaching your contract. The yeah. oath of office you took. Yeah. How yeah. so? How so? What do you mean how so? You you want me to read it for you? I read, I got everything right here. I got everything. I told you I study this stuff. Now I hate to break it to you like this. But I will anyway, just for the hell of it. But all you've been doing is spouting off a bunch of word salad that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Maybe to you, but not to us living in the real world, okay? Yeah, I, I know the law real well. I'm, you guys don't know the law because you're, you're breaching your contract right now. You guys are public yeah, service. How so? Well, I just told you. I read a lot. And what's your name, officer? Sergeant Long. Sergeant Long? Excuse me, sir. You know, sir, if you produce some type of identification... I'm not obligated or... to. Huh? I'm not obligated to. My status is recognized on, on the back of my plate that y'all, well, you guys took off without my consent, which is illegal and breach of your contract. Okay. I know, I know you know. And you, you also know that you're it's obligated to answer every question. for you if you produce some type No, of it'll be a whole lot better for you to generate revenue for me. I don't belong to your corporate state. It doesn't exist. It's corporate fiction.
Neither does the Republic of Pennsylvania. Oh yes, it does. Oh yes, it does. That was wait. That was here before y'all got here. Are you an American citizen, sir? Yeah. I've Are you been sure? Here a lot longer than you. Are you sure? Yeah. You know you're obligated to answer every question and write it down in your oh, narrative report. I'm obligated, but yes. you're not. You're a public servant. You you swore in and took an oath of office. Well, wait a minute. Now you want to recognize that as an authority? No, you don't have no authority over me. You're a public servant. But I have to answer your question. Yes, you do. How's, how's that work? How's that work? Simple. It's law. Really? Yeah. Whose law? Law of the land. Law of the land. The supreme law. Yes. Yes, sir. That's just showing that you're, you guys are incompetent of the law. That's for... Uh, I don't even have to contract with you guys. I'm not contracting with you guys. Really, I don't even need to sit here and do no business with you. If you really believed in that gibberish, you should have driven off by now. So why don't you go ahead and do that? I mean, if they have no authority over you, nothing is going to happen, right? You guys are incompetent. And if we went to court today, you guys would be found incompetent of the law. Yeah, I you know myself. We'll find out. Maybe we will find out. Fine with me? We can take it all the way to Supreme if you want. Okay. That's cool. It won't be the first nor the last. Yep. And guess what the Supreme Court ruling is? It'll be in my favor. Okay. The right to travel as an indigenous person. Rights of indigenous people. We were here before the Europeans came here. You're not American. Definition of American is an indigenous of this land. Okay. You guys came here with the flag of Great Britain so and Europe. you definitely not a, a No, citizen. I'm not a citizen. No, you're right. I'm not a citizen. Okay. I'm a natural born human being. You recognize me as a flesh and blood human being, right? So where are you from? Doesn't matter where I'm from. I could be north, northwest of Mexico. That's where I'm from. This is northwest of Africa. A few minutes later. You have no authority to do that, sir. You're gonna be paying for it. You're gonna be paying for it. You have no delegate. Wow. 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 And the video stops right there. And boy, was he totally delusional. And you know what? I would love to have seen this guy in court. I wonder how the judge would have reacted to him. At any rate, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. You don't want to go to jail. For what? You read this. Yeah. I don't have to listen to read anything. It. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not listening, Josh. I'm not. No, sexual oriented protection. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. You suck. They think they know it all. What's the Third Amendment, punk? Tell me the Third Amendment and I'll leave. What's the Third Amendment? What's the Third Amendment and I'll fing leave right now? What's the Third Amendment? Tell me. What's the Third Amendment? Most definitely. Because you don't understand why I'm here with a camera doesn't mean I have to get out of here. Doesn't mean I have to leave. Doesn't mean I have to go. <clears throat> that sort of thing. Well, this is what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna have to enforce the, the CT and have you leave the property. Um, per the postmaster, per the lead, uh, per the, um, the, uh, the person, the landlord of this uh, facility. Uh, so with that said, um, oh, I've got too many entities I know. You gave me a warning to get off the property. I got off the property. I need your name and date of birth. No, sir. You're either going to provide or you're going to jail. I'm going to remain silent, sir. Okay. Do you want my name and date of birth? Put your hands right now. He chose poorly. Morning, Deputy Regan St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Two reasons I'm stopping you. One, Pine Island speed limit's 25. You're going 36. Okay. That's still 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. It's 25. No, it's not 25? So, I was going at 35. Also. So, that's 10 over. You just told me that you're going 10 over the posted speed limit. Oh, no, I didn't tell it, you that. Yes, you did. You said you're going 35, right? Yeah, but I said... That's a 25. 35. No, ma'am. It's it. The whole thing's 25. Okay. The other issue is your license plate cover is illegal. You can't have a tinted license plate cover over your license plate. Hi, how are you? Okay, I'm doing good. Well, you're detained right now. You're not free to leave, okay? 
Why? Why? I've been calling after you. You know you're not to be on campus. You no. Put the phone down. She yes. asked me to leave and I left. No, ma'am. So you, you guys. You're now under arrest. You guys are arresting me for nothing. No. You know you've been arrested for this before. Dumbass. You dumbass. You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Because you don't want wa someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.